All right, so uh, this is the beginning of uh, modeling a realistic character. In this case, I'm going to base it off of myself. Um, what you're going to want to do is you should have already taken your photos, um, and you bring them into Photoshop, and then you do what I did here, um, which is basically uh, take my photos and try to match them up as best I can. Okay, so I have both of them here. Um, what I did also is I went to View, and, well, you can click here and drag and create um, different um, rulers. Uh, to try and straighten it out and then use that as a guide. Uh, but I did that. So what I did is I turn off one and I just export it as like an image. And then I um, turn on the other one and export that as an image. Um, so I have basically a front and a profile. Okay. Um, once you're done with that, what you're going to do is, I don't need to say the changes. Uh, I'm going to go in here and we're just going to go ahead. And the first thing you got to do is create a project. So we're going to do new. And I'm just going to do this um, cone human. Is what I'm gonna call it. Save it right to my desktop, and I'll hit accept. It's gonna create the necessary folders, and so I'm gonna find where it says Cone Human right here, and I got this guy here, and I'm just gonna go to my source images, and I'm gonna take my frontal and my profile, and I'm put them into there. Okay, so I got both of those guys in there, so I can bring them in. All right. Um, now, if you have close-ups of your face, God, I look so grumpy. Um, you could put those in there as well. Uh, I'm not too concerned with that. Um, so now that I got that done, I'm going to switch to this view here, which I apparently turned those off. So I'm going to go to display, um, heads up display, and where's camera names? All right. There it is. That's front. Okay. Um, now make sure you don't zoom in or out because if you zoom in or out, it's going to put where the camera or where the image planes are differently. So uh, I noticed that they made a button now for image planes, which is this guy right here, or you can also go to view image plane, import image. It'll automatically bring your source images. This is the front, so I'm going to go front, boom, hit space bar, hit space bar. I'm in my side view now, and again, now I'm going to click the button this time. It's going to pop open this profile, boom, um, and now I have the two here, which is great. Okay, I'm also going to go ahead and do uh, display heads up display, and we'll do that was not looking for it. Uh, wait, display, heads up display, and do view access. Okay. I didn't need all that, but okay. So what I need to do now is basically just move these, okay? So I'm going to go to the attribute editor, and while I have the image plane selected, I need to move it. If you look, these are 12 units. I'm just going to go ahead and move it 12, because I think that's just the easiest. So I'm scroll down uh, into the, the shape node here, and you see it says image center X, Y, and Z. I need to move this, if you look at this, in negative Z. So I'm going to go minus 12. Boop. Select this one, and you can see it'll be negative X. So minus 1, 2. Boom. All right. Beauteous. Now, I'm going to go over here, and if you can see, it's slightly off. All right. So I basically need to take this one. I'm going to click and drag over it. Because if you try to click on it, oh, it did work. Sometimes it doesn't work. So... I need to move it over. Each one of these little squares is a unit, so you can see I do not need to move it much. So I need to move it on positive x because it's got to go to the right here. So let's try doing 0.1. That was actually not quite enough. Let's do 0.15. And I'm looking at that because I'm going to mo go ma mostly based off of my nose here, but try to find a happy medium. I'm going to say that's good enough. And great. Now I'm going to switch to the other view here. And this one really shouldn't need to do too much. Usually what I say is try to put it to the base of the ear here. So uh, I need to move this one in negative Z. So X, Y, and Z. So I'll do minus 0.1 and minus 0.15. And there we go. We're going to call that fantastic. Okay. All right. Boom. Looking good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to show and I'm going to turn image planes off in this view because I don't need them here. All right. Yay! So now I got the two things going on. It's all looking good. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to model this somewhat differently than we did the previous one. Um, what I'm going to do instead is use more of what we call an edge loop modeling uh, method. Okay, so to do that, um, I am going to go to my profile view here, and I'm going to start with my chest. All right. So I'm going to go to make sure you're on the modeling menu set, and I'm going to go to uh, let's see, the mesh. Where are you? Not that one, maybe. Mesh, mesh tools, create polygon. Boom. Okay. And I'm just going to try and look for the apex 
of each uh, area, right? So where it's concave and where it convexes. Uh, so I'm going to start right at the neck here and go boom, right? So those look like two obvious spots. Go to the main breast, then kind of where it comes down, main to the rib, uh, then maybe kind of down, and then maybe to the navel, and then kind of down. Um, and then uh, let's say here, I don't know, just kind of go out here, some for the buttocks here, uh, to the lower back, rib cage, boom and boom and then i'm just going to hit enter okay and what that's going to do is it's going to create uh to f to bloom in here it's going to create this little poly okay um which is fine it's just one sheet right and technically it's like a crazy end god okay so you can see all these vertices that we created and it looks like there's more on this side than this side so we would need to kind of adjust some things but that's fine that's not really going to work on the off thing so what we're going to do is we're going to go to face um, or I can just do an object mode, either way it'll work. I'm going to select it, make sure I'm on the polygons menu set. I can hit Command E, or actually it might be Control E. I'm not sure if it's, con it's Control E on a PC, but it might be um, Command E. I think it still might be Control E. So I'm going to take this and I'm pull this across, okay? And um, <clears throat> I'm not too concerned as to how far out to go. Um, this is obviously going to be like my linea elba, which is the, the area that's the center of uh, you know, like if you look at anybody, you can kind of tell we have like a center line. I'm going to move it out, delete, delete. So now all I have is a strip here, okay? Looking good. Uh, let's go ahead and just save this, Control shift s And I'm going to save this as my first one, so I'm just going to call it cone um, human underscore v01. All right, so I did my last name and then human, so in case you didn't know that's my last name, that's what it is. I'm going to turn on... Um, which is this thing right here, uh, wireframe on shaded, so you can see it. The other thing I'm going to do is on these ones, uh, we'll do the same thing. Oops, down here. Um, but I'm also going to turn on X-Ray, which is this button here, or you can go to shading, X-Ray. Okay, which doesn't show too much there, but you can see it here, watch. Um, shading, X-Ray. Um, which basically lets me see through the model. Okay, so... Um, didn't notice it. Oops. That was the image plane I selected. Uh, but it allows me to see the model, but also see through it. Before it was completely solid, so I couldn't see the picture underneath. Okay. All right. Good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to try and draw edge loops around each area uh, and tie them to the back here uh, until I kind of form the entire person or like uh, the base uh, of what I need here. Okay. Now this is going to be a little bit, I don't have like an exact science to this, so this is going to be somewhat odd, uh, but some of this I do know. I'm going to try and follow the contours basically of the body, but it might not be exact, and then afterwards I'll probably have to make some adjustments, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is right here. Here we go. I'm going to grab where the breast is, okay? So that's, if you can kind of tell, this is where um, my pectoral comes down, and then it kind of divots in, and that's my rib right here. So I'm going to go to this edge right here. All right, so this is kind of where the, the apex of it is. And I'm going to select that. I'm going to hit Control-E for duplicate. I'm going to take that puppy and pull it up and over. And I'm going to try and put this right where, like, you know, right where it kind of squares here for, for the, you know, the, the ridge of the pectoral here. I'm also going to go on this view, and I'll push it back a little bit. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and go to Vertex. I'm going to take this and kind of pull it up and over. Over this way, maybe this is, I don't know, this way, I don't know, something like that, right? Uh, we'll pull it up just a little bit forward. Okay, so now I'm going to go to edge again, just got my edge here, and this time I'm going to hit extrude again, uh, just control E, W, I'm going to pull it up and over to where the armpit is this time, so basically where the arm is going to start to come apart. All right, oops, Whoop. and we'll switch to this view, and I'll put this right here. And I'm going to go to vertice, and we'll take this puppy there, and this one here. Alright, so I'm just going to try and, you know, kind of what I would picture the pectoral coming in as, okay? So actually, this has got to go up a little bit. Something like this. Alright, so you got to remember that the pectoral is actually going to insert into the bicep here. Alright, so something like that. Let's look at it from here. Now, it's not going to be exact because you got to remember also that the, um, my views are not, they're not consistent here. So I'm just going to do the best I can with what I got. So I'll go back to edges. I'll select this edge again. 
and I'm going to hit Control e W. Um, notice I'm hitting W each time. The reason why, um, and I'll go right up to here, um, is because if I just go with where it is, it's going to do it based off the, of the, um, we'll go right to where that shirt line is. Um, and we'll go like that, we'll say. It's going to go based off of um, the normal of the edge, which is not really what I'm looking for. I'm going to take this, and I'll put this roughly, uh, I'm going to put it right in the middle of where I think this would be. So we'll just flatten it. Oops, I apparently grabbed something extra there. Uh, boom, and I'll make this a little bit wider. I'm going to take this one and pull this up a little bit higher. Pull these both up a touch. Yeah. Okay. You gotta try and find a happy medium because it's probably not gonna be it's well it's not gonna be perfect. So I'll grab this edge and I'm gonna hit control E again, W, take this, pull this over, I'm gonna try and put it at where the base of of this would go. Um and wow, you can see like you know what I'm saying? Some of this stuff is gonna be not exactly you're gonna have to go like happy medium. Generally I would favor one area over another, uh, if you have the option. Um, just because typically you'll get better results if you just try to favor one. But um, there is no exact science with this, unfortunately. Or maybe fortunately, because if there was, it would not have a job. All right, go to Edge, select this again. Going to hit Control e and W, and let's go to this view. Take this, and I'm going to pull it. Let's see, where's the last one go? Okay, we'll pull it like here where I'm figuring the scapula would be. All right. Um, and we'll grab this. Oops. I'll do that. Let's go to this view. And I'm going to picture this gap that being pretty far out. Not like hippie far out, you know, just not where the other one was. All right. And we'll kind of go like that. Maybe pull this one out a little bit more. Like so. Okay. And. Okay. Um, now, I'm looking at here, and you can see I don't really have. I mean, I don't want to go inserting it here, so I'm actually going to go ahead and insert an edge loop here. So I'm using my multi-cut tool. I'm going to hold Control, so it cuts across, and I'm just going to click like that. Q. I'm going to go to Edges, here, and here. Select these two, and I'm going to hit Bridge, which is the one that looks like a Band-Aid. Boop. And just make sure the divisions are zero. The default, I think, is like five, and that's that's way too many. All right. So basically, I cut across a major one to go that goes from the pectoral up to basically the deltoid area. Um, the, of the arm here, and then back around the scapula uh, and around the back, okay? So now what I'll do is I'll do kind of the opposite. I'm going to take this, which is where the rib cage is, and I'm going to extrude and go around to where I think the rib cage would be. So I'm going to take that, control E, W, um, and I'll take it, and I'm going to kind of go, let's say, here. I'm going to just rotate that, and we'll look at this view, and I'm going to kind of walk, and we'll rotate it this way a little bit. All right, well, that's going to need adjustment beyond the same way. So control E, W, take this, and I'm going to put it right at the halfway mark here. Um, oops, like so, and scale her up a little bit. All right, and let's look at the side view here. W, way off there. Uh, let's look at that. And I'm just going to, oops, that and that. All right, kind of like, we'll say like this, and I'll take this vert. We'll kind of pull this one this way, and okay, okay, that's that's something. So it needs another one here anyway, but I'll adjust it afterwards. Okay, so back to edges, Control E W, uh, and I'm just gonna take this, move it back and over, and let's look at this view, and I'm gonna rotate it this way, and kind of comparable. Maybe that's a little too much. Okay. And let's look at here, and that looks okay to me. Let's see it from this view. Yeah, whatever. All right, I'm again going to just go ahead and um, insert an edge loop here. So I'm just going to use my multi-cut tool, hold control, and click, Q, boom, boom, hit the bridge, bam. All right, uh, but I can see I actually have more geometry on the top here, and actually I need quite a bit more because you can see that's not fulfilling the shape. So I'm going to go here, boom, and boom. And boom, and boom, and I'm just going to go ahead and kind of pull this out. And I'll get a little bit wider to kind of round that out, and there you go. Okay, so um, there's the first two kind of um, loops that we're going to create, because uh, we want to follow the contour of the body this time. Um, and then we'll, we'll continue on in the next one to, to get a little bit farther.